eye socket. Um, Hmm. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know what that can mean. Oh, like your your eyeball oh. area. So the whole eyeball is open? Yeah. Yeah, like the eye. The eye. Mm. Yeah. Like your shoulder. The hole for the eye. The hole for the eye. Like your yeah. Eye. <laughs> <laughs> your eyeball. Like the hole <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, eyelids. Uh, it's not going to be on the practical. <laughs> 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 there they are. <laughs> Um, the levator palpebrae, those are the muscles that elevate the eyelid, like levator means elevate. That's this, this upper one, so there would be an eyelid, this is where the eyelid would be, this is the levator palpebrae. Um, eyelashes, <laughs> not going to have those on the practical either, they're, you know. <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> I'm going to like pull an eyelash out <laughs> if I don't put it on the practical. Um, for the lack of apparatus, lacrimal is referring to crying and production of tears. So this is the lacrimal gland, these big blobs on the lateral surface of the top of the eye. Um, right there, that's the lacrimal gland, lacrimal gland, lacrimal gland. So is it the outer top? Mm -hmm. Yeah, lateral outside top. Um, the lacrimal canaliculi are how the tears get out towards the nose. See, they look like a wishbone right here. Those are the lacrimal canaliculi. Um, the superior canaliculus is the top one. Inferior canaliculus is the bottom one. Um, lacrimal sac. Actually, that's better on this one. Good to see. See that big thing right there? The canaliculi lead to this lacrimal sac right here on this model. Here it is. That pink bag, basically. Um, the caruncle is the pink triangle in the corner of your eye, which you can see when you just look at other people, you can see that little pink triangle on the inside. That's the caruncle. Um, nasolacrimal duct leads down from the lacrimal sac down into the nose. Say how if you cry, you end up having to blow your nose a lot because the tears are running through the nasolacrimal duct down into your nose and then out. Right there. So there's that little tube going down towards so the nose. Yep. Mm -hmm. Was it the middle one? Hmm. The nasal concha. Yeah, the middle nasal concha. Yeah. Um, the canthus, the corner, okay. the lateral canthus is the outside corner, the medial canthus is the inside corner of the eye, so where the eyelids come together. Outside and inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, conjunctiva, that you can't see on the models, I'd ask it as a question. It's a thin layer of epithelium that covers the surface of the eye. Pink you think eye. of, um, have you ever seen somebody with pink eye? Everywhere that turned pink, that's conjunctiva. <laughs> Over the surface of the eye. Okay, for the extrinsic eye muscles, this is where this model's good. Okay, you've got rectus muscles which go straight. The word rectus means it goes straight. So the superior rectus is this one that goes straight on the side, on the top. The lateral rectus, this one that keeps coming off right here. The inferior rectus is this one at the bottom. And then the medial rectus is the one on the inside, going straight. Um, <coughs> lateral's outside, medial's inside. Or if you look at this one, you can see the superior rectus, lateral rectus, medial rectus, and the inferior rectus underneath. Um, for the oblique muscles, they go more to diagonal. Um, the superior oblique, if you look just medial to the levator palpebrae, see that right there? That's the superior oblique. Um, the su uh -huh. Yeah, another muscle. So there's the superior oblique right there. So it's like top inside? Mm -hmm, top, very medial. Um, if you look at this, do you see how this blue is the tendon of the superior oblique? And see how there's this little blue hook right here that the tendon kind of threads through and goes back towards the eyeball itself? That little hook is called the trochlea. Um, and then the inferior oblique is this one that runs diagonal along the bottom. Bottom, mm -hmm. bottom lateral. Okay, so that's Okay, now
now for the structure of the eyeball, um, the layers of the eye. Um, the outer layer of the eye, the part that you can touch, that's the fibrous tunic. Um, the sclera is the white part of your eye. And then the cornea is the clear dome in the front. You know, if you look at somebody's eye from the side and you can see that little clear dome over the very front where their pupil is, that's the cornea. cornea. So sclera is the white stuff. Cornea is not the lens, but the big dome in front, the clear dome. The right, right in front of your pupil. This. What is fibrous tunic? The white part plus the cornea. Um, when you so on all of these, you can see sclera, sclera, sclera. Now, when you look inside the sclera, so the layer underneath is the vascular tunic. It's made of the choroid, which are all these blood vessels right here. So that's the choroid. Um, the ciliary body, see these little paisley looking things right here towards the front? Those are the ciliary bodies, and inside of there are the ciliary muscles. So you can't really, the model isn't really specific enough, so on the lab part, so if I point here, you can tell me ciliary body or ciliary muscle, or which one you use. The red part? Mm -hmm, the red part. Um, then suspensory ligaments connect the ciliary muscle to the lens, which all the lenses seem to be gone, but the lens would be sitting right in here, right, right in this area. See these little white stripes? Those are the um, suspensory ligaments. Um, the aura serrata is a sort of jagged line around the front. So the black line right here, that's the aura serrata. Um, the lens would be right here. You don't seem to have lens here, but it would be a little clear um, disc right here. Um, iris is a colored part of the eye. Pupil is the hole in the colored part of the eye. The pupil is the hole. Iris is colored? Colored part of the eye. Okay. Now, these other models are arranged a little bit differently. You still have the sclera on the outside vascular tunic on the inside, but remember how on this one it's painted on the inside? Here it's painted on this, so it's arranged a little differently, but it's still the choroid right here. Um, you can still look inside and see the um, aura serrata right there, and the suspensory ligaments are here. And then on this one, you take it apart, and it's the same idea. Choroid on the outside. Oop, there's a lens right there. This guy's got a lens. <laughs> that would be the lens. Um, take it apart. Aura serrata is this brown line. Suspensory ligaments are still the white stripes. Um, this model is the only one that has the ciliary bodies, though. These guys don't have that. Okay, now the neural tunic or the retina on this model is this. It's the innermost layer for these other two models. You just open them up inside, and that would be the aura serrata, or the retina, the retina inside. The retina. Or on this one, it's this that one. That was vascular tunic, wasn't it? It's the retina. This is vascular tunic. Inside is the retina. Um, rods and cones are the photoreceptors you find in the retina. Um, I'm not going to point at them. I don't really like these pictures. Um, on the APR, you can see um, the rods and cones. Just call them photoreceptors. That's fine. Uh, the macula lutea is an area where you have lots and lots of cones in the back of the eye. See that yellow circle in the back? That's the macula lutea. Um, the fovea centralis is the very center of that. So if I were pointing at it and I wanted the fovea centralis, I'd have to write the center of this because you wouldn't be able to tell it's so tiny. Um, the optic disc is where the optic nerve is leaving. This model isn't very good for the optic disc, but it's right there. Um, this model is somewhat better. See the optic nerve coming out? And see how it's just the axons leaving the back of the eye? Um, here, because it's all axons, you don't have any photoreceptors, so that's your blind spot right there. Um, on this model, the macula lutea is pink. And then on this 
model, this is great for the optic disc. You can see the optic disc is a white circle, and the macula lutea right next to it is again a yellow dot. So that's the macula lutea. Okay, now for the cavities and humors, I'm going to ask these as questions. Okay, so for the anterior cavity, is everything everything from the lens to the cornea. So from the very front of the cornea all the way back to the lens, that's the anterior cavity. Um, the anterior chamber is the front half of that anterior um, cavity. It's from the cornea to the iris. And then between the iris to the lens, so the back half of the anterior cavity is the posterior chamber. Everybody get that? Okay, um, in the anterior chamber, or in, in the anterior cavity, is a really thin fluid called aqueous humor. In the anterior cavity, it's the fluid in the anterior cavity. Now, the canals of Schlem, you can see those. That's these two little blue dots on this model. Those are the canals of Schlem. Is that the back of the eyeball? <laughs> They're in the very the front. front. Oh. Yeah, and they let the aqueous humor circulate. Um, now, if you have glaucoma, like my, my boyfriend has glaucoma, we're, we're just like a mess, the two of us <laughs> between us. Um, but he's got glaucoma. His canals of Schlem get clogged, so it builds up pressure, which can cause your cornea to just pop, basically. It causes your cornea to burst. Nice. So they have to basically sandblast out his canals of Schlem every once in a while to clear them out. So. So all kinds of unpleasant eye stuff going on in our um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the posterior cavity is everything behind the lens, so everything in here. Um, that's filled with a really thick fluid called vitreous humor, and that's what makes your eyeball feel like an eyeball. That's the texture of the vitreous humor. Um, for the visual pathway, you already know all these parts from doing the brain, with the exception of the optic tract. Um, see the optic nerve, and it goes back. It's like the seahorse is wearing a bridle, or his reins. The seahorse's reins. That's the optic track. Um, for these, for the visual pathway, that makes a good bonus question to list the steps in order. So that's how I would ask folks. So just know the order of the vi uh, visual pathway. What about what's the optic radiation? Um, that's just an activity. That's not an area. It's after. Um, it's how the the axons travel to the occipital lobe, to the okay. visual cortex. So, so that's more of a verb than a noun. So the trunk is the one next to the 